plain food doesn't suck. Your face does. Yeah, it's not the chef who makes it taste like cardboard. It's all on you, buddy. At 35,000 feet, your taste bud's ability to detect sweet and salty drops by 30%. Why? Because cabin air is drier than a desert, and the pressure's like being on a mountain inside a tin can. And your nose is totally useless up there, too. Smell is 80% flavor, but airplane air dehydrates your nasal passages. Oh, and that engine roar isn't just annoying. Studies show loud environments can make food taste less sweet and more bland. So you're not just eating in a flying bus, you're eating in a sensory deprivation chamber. Not to forget, airplane meals are made hours earlier chilled, vacuum sealed, reheated, and then served in foil trays at lukewarm temperatures. That fancy beef bourguignon being served in business class has been through more trauma than your checked-in luggage. Airlines know all this. That's why they oversalt and overspice your food. That's why tomato juice suddenly tastes amazing in the sky. In first class, it's not always better food, it's better plating. Real forks, ceramic plates, quieter cabins, it's just that food tastes better when you don't eat it off a plastic tray during turbulence. So next time your in-flight pasta tastes like wet drywall, don't blame the airline, blame science. Now hit that subscribe button before your taste buds reboot at sea level.